The Dwarf Bolt Thrower, coming up next on Monster Hobbies, What's in the Box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Ursulescu. Welcome back to another Monster Hobbies What's in the Box video. Today we are going to look at the Dwarf Bolt Thrower. And now that Games Workshop has released its 2018 uh, General's Handbook. <laughs> I'm all excited because we are going to have a tournament down here at Monster Hobbies and that is coming up on August the 18th at 10 a.m. right here in this store. We are going to have a lot of gaming tables and everything and what I would thought I would do, <laughs> go down in my basement and pull out my old dwarf models and the stuff I haven't built yet and I can open up these old boxes and show you what's in the box. So without further ado, let's go down to our gaming table and open up the Dwarf Bolt Thrower. And now welcome back to the mountains of Karak Eight Peaks where we will be looking at the Dwarf Bolt Thrower. And I won't be talking like this in the whole video. So anyway, here we are with the Dwarf Bolt Thrower from Games Workshop. Now this is an old model kit of mine. It's been redone. It's final run of Citadel Finecast. Now I got this from the Games Workshop before they discontinued these things. When they went to Age of Sigmar, this ended up in the compendium list, which means it's quite out of date. But here is what you get inside. They come with this nice little plastic case. And what I'll do is I'll just move these guys over here. Now this was molded in Citadel Finecast, which of course <laughs> is a resin plastic. So just bear with me for a sec. Okay, to begin with we get this awesome little instruction booklet, which basically just shows you how it all goes together in a very straightforward manner. And yeah, it's a one page affair. Okay, but if you have any of the old Games Workshop catalogs and things, you will find these guys in there everywhere. Well, maybe not everywhere. Anyway, okay, here's what to show you first. Now, this is... This model used to be made out of white metal back in the day, but then Games Workshop decided to try to run plastic through the molds before they had discontinued them fully. So this is the bolt as it is. And you can see there's some nice rope detail in here and the um, turn screw to hold the bolt when we wind it up, pulls it back, you know. These little arms here are the front arms that are going to fire the bolt. And you can see a lot of this webbing in here. That all has to get cut out. And there's the little top bits right there and there for the bolt. And here is the cradle for the bolt thrower. Now, the problem with the Citadel Finecast is sometimes it tends to warp a bit. So you can put this in warm water and then force it back into shape and hold it until it starts to cool down. Actually, until it goes pretty cold. Then it will hold that shape. And of course, this is the mechanism for the bolt, which would go right on to there. And because this is resin you can glue it together with crazy glue and there's our gentleman dwarf holding the big bolt it's going to get loaded into this bolt thrower and on the final screw you get three of them this is the other end of the crew and this is the mechanism that holds these arms in place they stand upright like that and go in there Anyway, these are the crew that man the big dwarf bolt thrower. And Games Workshop <laughs> has been generous enough to give you four square bases with the angle slots. Now, I don't think they make these bases anymore, so if you wanted to use this in Age of Sigmar, you'd have to get round bases. And that will bring us to the end of our examination of the dwarf bolt thrower. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box, where we got to look at the Dwarf Bolt Thrower. Wasn't that a cool kit? 
And if you would like to make a contribution to our video channel, please go to our YouTube page and look for the PayPal icon, which is right in the banner and click there. You can make a quick contribution to our work. And if you want to see what Games Workshop models we have available in our store here, well, you can check out our online store or just walk down here and visit us. But for the online store web address, look down in the description. I've got it right there. You just click on it and it'll take you right over. And now if you'd like to see me unbox some other videos in this series, please check it out here, here, and here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us and click the notification button right here. So when I make a video, you can see what it'll be about. And until next time, happy building.